Hello everyone, today we are comparing the Tech 21 Flyrig 5 version 2 against the Moore Red Truck. Now Tech 21 is probably the company that started the whole sensation of putting multiple storm boxes in a very small and easy to bring format. Now after Tech 21, there are multiple companies who came up with a similar version of the Flyrig and one of them is this Moore Red Truck over here. So let's briefly take a look at what each of these pedals contain. So you have the Tech 21. From right to left, you have the plexi, which is a distortion. And on top of that, there is a switch to flick between plexi or Kelly. So what that does is it takes the plexi, which is a more British sounding distortion. And if you turn on the Kelly, it gives a bit more of an American flavor to the distortion. And on that panel, there's a simple level to drive. Following that, you have a boost, which you can set the boost level, as well as setting it before or after the preamp. So if you want more gain, you're gonna leave it before the preamp. And if you want a volume boost, you gotta put it after the preamp. Now the next section is probably the heart and soul of the Tech 21 Flyrig. So you have the Sans Amp. So what's cool about the Sans Amp is you can use it either as a preamp, which you can use in conjunction with the XLR out. So if you're going into a mixer and interface front of house, it will turn on a cab simulator and you can use the Sans Amp as your preamp. Another cool thing that Tech 21 added to the new version 2 of the Flyrig 5 is with the cab sim on and off, when you have it off, it only turns off the cab sim on the quarter inch output. So the cab sim is always going to be turned on with the XLR output. So this will allow you to send the XLR to front of house and you can send the out to a normal guitar amplifier. Now after the preamp session, there is a built-in effects loop over here. So you can choose to slip in your own time-based effects, any sort of chorus, flanger, or you know, another delay perhaps, a reverb. Next up, we have the delay on the Flyrig 5. A cool touch about the delay here is with the drift button is going to add a modulation to the repeats of the delay. Next, you have a reverb, a simple one knob operation of the reverb and a button to change the size of the room. So with the button popped out, you get a sort of room reverb and if you punch it in, you get sort of a hall reverb. Finally, there's a built-in tuner as well as tap tempo. Now with the Moore Red Truck, it is a bigger unit and a much more tweakable unit. So you have a simple overdrive pedal with volume, gain and tone. Above that, there is a boost. Now this boost functions more as an always on kind of thing because you can't toggle the boost via a foot switch. You can only use it by the toggle switch. And it is always placed before the pedal, so it acts more as a gain boost as opposed to a volume boost. Now what's cool about this, I feel that if you're using different guitars, such as if you're using one guitar with a humbucker and one with a single coil, and you set your tone to work with a humbucker, this boost can act as something to kind of EQ the single coil guitar to match the output of a humbucker guitar. Next up, there is a distortion. Now the distortion has a very British flavor. There is a mid boost here, so you can make the distortion sound a bit more thicker. It has a three band EQ level and again. Next up, you have a section which the Tech 21 Flyrig 5 does not have, which is a modulation section. So you can choose between three different modulations, a chorus flange, phaser, and a tremolo. The next two sections on the Moore are also much more expandable compared to the Tech 21. You have a delay, which you can choose three different types, analog, echo, digital. You can change the subdivision. Next, you have a reverb with your level decay tone. You can even add modulation to the reverb as well as a shimmer. It has a tuner and tap tempo as well. And the tap tempo is very flexible. You can choose a tap tempo to change the tempo of not just the delay, but the modulation as well. Now, some of the major differences between the Red Truck and the Flatic 5 is with the Red Truck, there is stereo outputs left and right whereas the Tech 21 Flyrig 5 is a mono output. Next with the Tech 21, you have an XLR out, whereas with the Moore, it is only a quarter inch. So if you wanted an output with the cap simulator turned on, you'll have to use the headphone output over here. Now, one thing about the Moore here is it does not contain a preamp. So yes, you can send a signal out to the front of house, but to effectively tweak the tone for front of house, you're gonna need another preamp, which is why I'm guessing that they had an effects loop here because the signal chain of the effects loop is it is placed after the distortion and before the modulation. So Moore does sell a bunch of different preamps. They have preamps based on various different amps. So I guess that was their idea when they created this thing to be combined with a preamp if you choose to use this unit into a mixer or front of house. Another step up here is with the Moore, there are preset modes. So besides using it as a regular Stormbox mode, you can actually turn on preset mode and save up to five different presets over here. Now with all these added tweakable options, does it sound better than the Flyrig 5 version 2? So what we're going to do here today is I'm going to compare 
the similar functions and features of each of these pedals. So what I'm doing is I'm using an Ibanez AZ242, going into this pedal and going into the front end of a Hughes and Canon Tumizer Deluxe 20. So first up, we'll compare the reverb between two units into the clean channel of the amp. Next to the red truck, I'm going to use a chorus effect on the modulation side. And with the Tech 20, what I'll do is I'll turn on the drift on the delay and turn the repeats and time all the way down so I can get a sort of chorus effect as well. Next up, we'll check out the boost on each of the pedals and hear how they affect your clean tone. Then we'll try out the drives, we'll add a delay to the drive and then we'll try out the distortion section and set a delay to that as well.
So there you go, that was the comparison between the two. Now right off the bat, one of the main differences to me is that with the drive section of each pedal, in this case the Moore drive and the Sans Ammonitech 21, the Moore has much more gain on the drive side, whereas the Sans M has a bit more less, but it kind of makes sense because we intend to use the Sans M as a preamp. And if you wanted more breakup and thickness from that, you can add the boost before the preamp. For the distortion part of each test, I kind of favor the Tech 21. I like that it can really push into higher gain territory compared to the Moore. Of course, the Moore can get you further if you stack the drive pedal into it. And next, with the reverb and delay, I kind of like the Tech 21 as I felt the reverb especially was very organic, very natural. So choosing between the two, well, really depends on what you think about the tones achieved here today. Leave a comment down below, discuss, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content and see you real soon.